Well, that wasn't so painful, she says before she has to edit this. Hello, it's Vlogmas and it's coming up to Christmas, so I thought I'd tell you about the best kind of books that you could read at this time of year. Then I realised I don't have any books here. These are the best books you can read at this time of year, in my opinion, obviously, and through the magic of video editing I'll be able to show you the covers because I don't have a bookshelf yet. Which really sucks. Do you know what it's like living in a house with no books? Empty. Okay, so the first one that you should be reading at this time of year is a complete classic, it is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Basically, it's like the version with the Muppets, but without the Muppets. It's just, it's a short story, it's not very long at all. The language in it, you might think is a bit archaic because it's Dickens, but it's really not. It's just a short, sweet, Christmassy book and it's, it all takes place on Christmas Eve and then Scrooge wakes up on Christmas Day a much better person, everyone knows the story. But if you haven't read it, you should definitely read it at this time of year. Book number two, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. It is set in New York City at Christmas, there is snow, there is fun. It tells the story of Dash and of Lily and the narration alternates between the two um, and basically it is a story about the two of them and they both have their own sort of struggles and they're both quite lonely and they end up conversing with each other through writing notes in a book that they then leave in certain places and they have clues that they have to kind of get their head around to find where the book's going to be next. Uh, it's just really cute and then when they meet it's just like ah. And it's by the people that wrote Nick and Nora and Naomi and Eli, so we already know it's a winning combination. Book number three is J.R.R. Tolkien's Letters to Father Christmas, and I really wish I had it here so that I could show it to you because it's so beautiful. The version that I have is like this big hardback copy and it's got loads of photos in it um, and like little illustrations and things that he did. It's just so beautiful and it's basically loads of letters to Father Christmas, um, sort of as a, in a pen pal kind of format and it's really lovely and I really want to read it to my niece this Christmas so I'm hoping to find it somewhere in the mess that is my old room uh, so that I can do that but it's it's a really lovely book and all the illustrations in it are great so if you have small ones around you that is a great book to read them at Christmas. Thank you for watching this incredibly boring book wreck um, <laughs> next time I promise to actually have the books with me. If you like Vlogmas so far give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because there will literally be a video every day until the 25th of December. Lucky you.